Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for Tech. Few days before, we uploaded the video review of new CR Android and Android 15, which is installed on my 8 years old device that is OnePlus 6. Today, we again came back with the official build of Darfest OS for OnePlus 6 and 60. What amazing news is this? This 8 year old device is still supported by the amazing developers community and it's working perfectly on this new Android 15 based Darfest OS. Darfest OS officially supports lots of devices. You can check your device from the link given in the video description. We thoroughly reviewed the Darfest OS on Nothing Phone 1 that is also officially supported by the team. But today we are going to review the top 8 new and the amazing unique features of the stable Darfest OS which I've seen first time. OnePlus 6 users, all the other things like what's working, bugs and the issues are discussed in the respect to timeline of this video. I request to all the viewers must watch these ROM features at least once because some of them are really useful and not added by any stock or the custom ROM till the date. That will make you to flash this custom ROM on your device. Now without further delay, let's get started. I flashed this new stable build of Darfest OS on my OnePlus 6. Let's check out the about device details. Other device users, if you also got the stable build, you also get the same device details I am going to show you here, except your device maintainer and the build date which will be different. For OnePlus 6, we got this second and the first stable Android 15 based custom ROM. Its security patch is of latest November 2024. Maintainer of OnePlus 6 and 60 is developer pants. Kernel version is 4.9.337. For better security, the kernel is enforcing. Build date of ROM is of 5th November 2024. Let's start the review of new unique features of this ROM in a reverse order. On the number 8 is the new floating windows for the recent and sidebar applications. Actually, lots of ROM offers the floating windows for the apps, but this one is very smooth. We can open any app in a floating window via shortcut available by long pressing in the recent screen of the application. By dragging the bottom edges of the application, we can resize the app in any size. By dragging the top middle bar, we can move the application window anywhere on the screen. Next way to open the application in a floating window is the app sidebar. It's available in the app options of the setting. Here we can add any user or the system app in the sidebar. If you open any app from the sidebar, it is directly opens as the floating window. By long pressing on the left corner of the window, we can expand the app window as a normal screen size. And by long pressing on the bottom right corner, the app will be minimized to the top right corner and we can access the app anytime while using other secondary application. Even by using the sidebar, we can access the app drawer and all the app drawer application will also be available as a floating window anytime. On the number 7th is the new panic trigger shortcut for the power menu. All the custom ROMs offers lots of shortcuts for the power menu customizations, but this ROM offers this panic trigger shortcut. If any kind of emergency happens, we can access it via power menu, which will dial all the assigned emergency calls via this option. On the number 6 is the new power menu styles. I am first time seeing such types of power menu styles which looks very different as compared to other custom ROMs. I especially liked this classic A8 power menu style. We also get some other custom power menu styles here. On the number 5 is the volume button cursor control. Actually this one is available for all the old Android 11 to Android 14 custom ROMs. But for now only this ROM offers this feature of Android 15 custom ROM. Here we can move the cursor by using the volume buttons to the right or the left side, which is especially helpful to avoid the manual method of moving cursor using the touch control. On the number 4th is the edge long swipe gestures. That helps us to open any application or the shortcut that we assign using this setting. When you long swipe the edges we get this double swipe arrow icon instead of single icon and when we lose the key. It can open the recent panel or can open any application or can lock the device too without using the power button. Who gets lots of search activities in the customization setting of this feature. 
On the third is the new lock screen clocks which are available in the lock screen setting of the display option. This feature is already available for the lots of custom ROM but there it's not fully functional but in this stable interface build all the clock widgets are working fine. Here you can get such new and the unique styles of the clocks. You can take a look of some clocks here which are looking very beautiful on the always on display with the dynamic clock styles. On the number second is the iOS style dynamic island notification. This one will be found in a lots of ROM but there it's not working same as original iOS dynamic island feature. But in this ROM it's working actually same as original one with the same effect of pop-up animation and feature. On the number first is the parallel application. Who gets lots of application or the features of the stock ROMs that works like parallel space. But this one can be called as the advanced parallel space because it offers to create multiple users and their multiple parallel applications. Means you can add 2, 3, 4 or multiple users and you can add the same number of parallel applications for that users. Here I added 2 users, one is for you take and another one is punks. I toggled on the YouTube application as a parallel application for the both users and you got the 3 different Google Play Store application and YouTube apps in the app drawer. Who also gets the unique identification icons as per the user of that application. Who can add the multiple Google accounts for them and can use them in a single device for all the Google applications. This feature is insane as per my opinion so I kept it at the rank 1. Please tell in the comment section which you will think the best and the unique feature. Now let's talk about the OnePlus 6 and 60. What's working? Everything working in this ROM, so I will not discuss the complete list, I already tested them. Major concerning features like safety net and the Google New Play Protect Integrity checks are passing in this ROM, so we can able to run any banking or the payment application in this build. But still some things are missing and the buggy. First one is the Google Play Protect. It's not certified, so some application will not be available in the Play Store like Netflix but it's available in the Play Store I'm working for the OnePlus 6 and 60 users. Next missing feature is no call recording for the dialer. Another is the no Oxynos camera inbuilt in the ROM. Who gets the simple dark camera here? But you can use the Google Gcam as an alternative for this. Except this we did not get the Android 15 features like theft protection and adaptive vibration control for this build. But these are not can be considered as deal breaking things for all the users. ROM can be used as a daily driver build with this top amazing 8 features that I liked the most. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of such amazing content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.